Hello everybody, E here. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. I finally, finally found one. Um, I'm not going to talk bad about any other fantasy book in this video. I'm only going to be talking about this. The Grace of Kings by Ken Liu. Uh, this book is absolutely amazing. Uh, you follow many, many different POV characters. My favorite in the book happened to be Mata Zindu. Um, the, this character, was, he had his faults, don't get me wrong, but he was the one that I was pulling, pulling for throughout the entire book. Kunigaru, uh, he didn't really connect with me, which was kind of funny because I read this with uh, Talani of uh, Tea Time, Tea Reads. I'll leave a link down down in the doobly-doo to her channel. You can go check her out. She says she's going to be reviewing this book um, and doing another video, maybe a wrap-up video. I'm not sure, um, but uh, I think she's even doing a written review. Anyways, I'm not doing a written review. Uh, I'm only doing this video. Uh, this is easily, this is the only thing I put up on Goodreads. I gave it five stars. This is easily the best fantasy novel I have ever read. And of course, I'd have to move away from the Western cliches and stereotypes and all that stuff of fantasy before I finally found something that I enjoyed. This is book one of the Dandelion Dynasty. Um, it starts off amazingly um, with dudes with kites and flying through the air trying to assassinate somebody. It's just, just amazing. And from that point on, epic battle sequences, politics, all different kinds of stuff. This, I feel, I feel, now I've only read the first two books in the Song of Ice and Fire series, but I think this series so far is better than Martin's series, especially with the intricate um, and well-developed characters, the plot, the politics, all that stuff. Everything that you find in Martin's uh, world, you're, or in Martin's writing, you're going to find here. But there's more fantastical elements. There's gods. There's this thing called a Krubin, which is like an armor-plated whale. Um, a whale with scales. Very, very cool thing. Um, they got airships, all different kinds of stuff, man. Um, it, I, just, I, cannot, it, I cannot contain my happiness because I finally found a fantasy series that I love. And by series, I mean there's two books out so far. There's this one and The Wall of Storms, which I've already started. I'm 50 pages in, and it is also, so far, fantastic. Um, but th this book, there's, there's so much in this book that just was utterly unpredictable for me. Usually when I read fantasy, I'm like, okay, this is this is your hero, this is your this, this is your that. You know exactly where these characters are going. You know exactly what quests they're going to be set upon. You know exactly what kind of troubles they're going to get into. In this one, this was more like reading a wartime story, like a World War II story, but in a Asian fantasy setting. It was amazing. Um, I highly recommend, if you are stuck on fantasy and you are tired of the same old thing, um, now, mind you, I don't care too much for fantasy. If you're new to the channel, I don't like Sanderson. I don't like Jordan. I don't like any of the heavyweights. I don't like Sykes. I don't like uh, who's that Kristoff person. I don't. I, I've I've never even finished one of their books except for Jordan. I did finish the first uh, in the Wheel of Time series and Rage Quit the second one about 250 pages in. So if you're like me and you don't care too much for fantasy, but you're looking for a different kind of fantasy that is going to give you something more than what you are used to seeing all the time over and over and over again, definitely check out The Grace of Kings by Ken Liu. Um, but have you read The Grace of Kings? If you have, let me know what you thought about it down there in the doobly-doo. Tell me whether or not you loved it, whether or not you hated it. Tell me why you loved it or why you hated it so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!